So welcome to Technonad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And today I have something very special for you. So today we're going to be going over what I find is the best 8-port KVM switch. And by best, I mean cheapest. And so if you like that, make sure you like this video. And if, it, if you haven't already, subscribe. And here we go now. Special thanks to all my patrons who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. Thank you. And if you haven't already, please check out my Patreon page. And so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Smart 8-port KVM switch. And this is what the box looks like. It actually doesn't actually have any, say, any company name anywhere on the box that... I can find and there seem to be a bunch of different ones that still are all use the sort of all look the same so this is sort of like a generic KVM switch so we will be unboxing this and putting this together so let's do that now okay so here we have the 8 port KVM switch and so we're gonna switch over to this camera and we will start unboxing this Okay, so like I said, no company name on it, just the sort of generic uh, KVM switch. So let's open this up. And there are all our cables and there's actually some mounting brackets. And then this is a little controller where you can uh, press the different things. I guess if you're far away, I will probably never use this. Or maybe I will actually. Maybe I will mount this down below this uh, table. So maybe I'll mount this down below this table and then I can just have this here up on top. Okay, then here is our, oh, it's actually a Razor. So uh, I got a different brand than what I was thinking I was getting. Uh, I thought I was getting the smart one, but uh, in the pictures they look exactly the same. Here we have some directions. Generic, generic directions and so this KVM switch can actually uh, there are keyboard shortcuts for it uh, but I don't see them in the directions but I did see them oh I guess there aren't keyboard shortcuts for this one so no keyboard shortcuts so I don't have to worry about that I wouldn't use them anyways I've got my little uh, switch here which then I can just go back and forth with that so Okay, good. And there's the brackets. We're not going to use those. And then let's just take a look at the cables before we put this together. And so this switch, like I have in the directions, this is actually a VGA switch. A VGA KVM switch. The uh, VGA KVM switch was much cheaper for uh, 8 port one. The uh, eight port HDMI one was um, $300. This one was about $90 if I remember correctly. So definitely going to, uh, this is a good money saving tip. And so this is a combination, it looks like VGA cable with uh, USB attached to it. And yep, yeah, so there is our USB cable. Interesting. I don't know quite how they pass the USB over to the uh, KVM switch, but we'll attach something now and find out. So, okay, I've got it all plugged in. If you can see here, it's pretty simple. So basically the VGA cables go in there. These are the ones provided. You have to provide your own VGA cable to your monitor, and then you have your keyboard and your mouse. On the front here, uh, just little 
dots and you can add in a hard drive or a printer there. One of the things about this is it makes a very loud beeping sound when you switch and it says there is a way to turn that off. I don't know. I haven't found a way though. Uh, also the cable that we have right here just plugs right into the front here. So there basically it says control, just a regular micro USB and that turns on. And then it shows you which uh, one is uh, or which one it's on and then if you switch still makes the loud beeping sound but it's you know it's a nice way of doing it i can have this on my uh, desktop or at this this table here and the switch is going to be down below so it won't really matter too much uh, how it is good so let's turn on the monitor see what happens and so we'll turn that on and I just have two computers hooked up at the moment and this one is X Ubuntu and so the monitor has a little hard time figuring out which uh, you know what the dimensions of the you know signal are coming out with and it goes back and forth a few times your mileage may vary there and so now we're going to switch to this will switch to uh, open media vaults and there you can see we're in the Open Media Vault uh, GUI. And so uh, let's type in something. I have my keyboard and my mouse over here. So let's just do app get update and hit enter. And there you can see the keyboard works. Let's go to X Ubuntu. We'll check out the mouse. And here you can see the mouse is also working there. And let's see if we're connected to the internet. And so there we're connected to the internet, so it works fine. Uh, this is the Riser 8 port USB 2 KVM switch. One thing I wanted to say spec wise is this is 1920 by 1440, uh, but just it's a little slow, so I wouldn't uh, try to do too much. If you want to spend more money, there are uh, 4K uh, switches out there, uh, but they're a couple hundred dollars extra. So, and they don't include the cables as far as I could tell. So this is the sort of the best VGA KVM switch out there. Okay, and that's it for today. And if you like this video, make sure you like, and if you haven't already subscribed, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.